Hello, hello, hello. So on today's video, we're just going to be carrying on with the rewire down in Wakefield. So on the last video, we got all the cables into the sockets and second fixed them all for downstairs. So on this video, we've just got to get a cable from the last point back to the fuse board and then start on the downstairs lighting. Beautiful and sunny today, blue skies. It's going to be a scorcher. It's 20 degrees already. So yesterday it got up to like 35. So it was an absolute scorcher. So we're just going to head down there now. back down at the rewire so we're just going to finish off this socket back to the fuse board and then we're going to start on the downstairs lighting there's that behind my head to power up this above my head to refeed we're going to keep these lights so we're going to refeed that refeed that and then there's a wall light over there and a wall light there yeah let's crack on with that and we'll, uh, we'll make it start the socket so just got to get a cable from here all the way around and into this cupboard where the fuse board's going to be. So as soon as that's done, that's the downstairs socket's wired. Yeah, we'll probably just bring feeds to switches for downstairs so we can come into that switch, this switch, and then that switch over there. And then we can bring this cable from there up to here. And then we've got some three car nerfs. So we've got one to run from there to the top of the stairs. We've got one to run from here to that switch on the wall there, and then the top of the stairs. And here we've got two cables to bring out to so these two lights, and then another two cables to bring out for the wall lights. I have to bring one from here up to here and then that will work again. So yeah, so crack on with that. Yeah, it's just starting to heat up now, so it's absolutely roasted. Yeah, it's going to bob down a little sheet. Just to protect the carpet, that can't kind of flap over. So yeah, we've managed to get all the settings to one side of the room. And then all this here, we've managed to flap back. We're going to run a cable from here to each wall light now. It's going to go under this hatch here, all the way to the end, and then they're going to split off one to the left, one to the right. But what we can do is measure off the cable, chop it, and then we can run in two at the same time. Therefore, you don't have to rod it twice. cable up here so obviously we've, we've come up with this socket zone come out the side of it gone up so stick it out ready to connect it back into the wall light and then you've got this little fellow over here doing the same thing send two cables run back to the switch so there's leveled up wall light so here we'll just take the feed in feed out you can have your permanents into the commons and just linked out to the next switch and the next switch and then from each switch on the L1 We'll just go out to the lights. So when you flip the switch, these brown cables in here will come live. So we've got another two cables to bring out of here. Bring two out of there, up to that hole, and then to that light, and then to that light. So yeah, we've brought the cables out here. Whoa. We've got to chase into this wall, so there's going to be a switch here. We're also going to use this as the riser. So the cables for upstairs will come up here, through the switch zone, and then if we just drill up at an angle, we'll get into the landing above. So these cables have been measured out long enough. So we've got the cable which is going to go to the hall light from that switch. So it comes all the way down, round, and then back round here. We've got the two way to upstairs. We're also going to bring a cable from here to upstairs. So this is going to be an intermediate switch. Over here, we've got the cables hanging out here. We'll come up this zone, drop in a switch here, and that'll just be a two gag switch, which will do that light up there and this light here. So what we'll do is just have the cables poking out the same hole and we'll just drop the light fittings a bit then that way she's still got light over the next few days until we do that swap over so after the swap over the old cables will be dead we can chop them off get rid of those and then the new cables can just wire into these fittings that time again what have we got today then of the old ham and gravy oh look at that that's right slab 
And we'll get that down as. Look at that beast. Richmond Butchers. Spot on. That is spot on that. Oh, this is probably a 10 as well now. Nice. Yeah, I'm just coming off of the break now. That's a cool down in the air can the van. So let's uh, let's carry on. We'll do this little chase, flat the ceiling now, get this switch chased in, get this thick car earth from here, measured out, down, along, round, through the uh, through this hole here, and then measured out so it's long enough to go to that switch just above. And then that's the downstairs lighting all layered. So just a quick update then. So we've got all the cables that we need to bring upstairs up the riser in the kitchen. So we're actually going to bring the cables in the light switch zone straight up. So they just come up through this board here. The cables that are going to go up to this switch here, I've just brought out to the side. So you've got the uh, the two two ways there. You've got the feed for upstairs light in there, and then you've got another cable there which is going to the kitchen light from that switch from downstairs and then here we've got the two legs for the upstairs socket we've got a leg for the boiler in there and then we've got another twin earth which is going to go to that light there so that's long enough to drill in and send down there now the switch for the lounge lights is roughly about here so we should be able to poke up round about here bring the cables up and then along through that room and up to your light and the same again for this side, so we should be able to bring the cables along and through to that light. So we should hopefully be able to rod from the dangly lights in the living room this way. Just so we'd have to take the bed out of the room to get the floorboards up. But because she's living in it, we're going to get the floorboards back today. So all the cables going into the switch, we'll just coil up here. The cables going go into that kitchen light, we can coil up there. So there we go, just left them in a nice little bundle. So we've got two way down, two way up, up light feed. So. They'll just tuck in there. Obviously when we've cut it out, we've landed it on the joist. That way, we don't have to uh, batten it out. To say we'd cut here, exactly here, and if you put the board back, it just kind of drops straight in. If that was the case, we'd have to put a batten across here for the floorboard to sit on. Just don't want someone walking across here and just kind of going through the ceiling, or going through the floor and breaking the ankle. So we've just got to clip these cables down here. So we'll make them nice and neat and tidy. We're going to clip those. I'm going to get a box in here. Chase down and get those cables clipped up. So all the cables for the fuse board are in now. So they're just going to stay like that. And they're going to come up into the new fuse board which is going to sit there. The cables clipped. The cables nicely come up there. Obviously, going through that zone. So as soon as we just get the old cable, which is this white one, we can uh, get them cables at the top, fasten back nice and neat. So now we're just going to have a quick tidy up, and then we can finish off this rewire tomorrow. So that's us done for today. So we've got all the cables ready to get wired in tomorrow on the landing. We've got all the sockets and lighting wired downstairs yeah if you like this kind of content click the like button click subscribe click the little bell notification so you know when we're next uploading as always have a good one for me and i'll see you on the next one